for the first part, um, first part exercise one, forward stop. So basically, is you're gonna pull all the way out from the cone, your tractor and your trailer are gonna start from at this point. And then you're gonna go all the way over, 100 feet, and only one time stop. Your tractor, only immediate stop. Um, in other words, you cannot stop and go, stop, go, stop, go like that. You, you can't, you have to one stop completely just go. Like so in other words, you cannot go like this. Mm, 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 mm. You cannot do that. You have to go slowly and then if you want, slowly. And then you feel this is right spot, you stop right there. In other words, your tractor needs to be inside. As you notice this tractor here. It's inside this three feet, okay? Now, as you can see the lines here, that's not considered part of the three feet. So which means it's the inside line, that's the three feet. Your tractor has to be inside this three feet. If it's not, it's five points deduction, okay? So that's, uh, that's the first step, all right? Then the second step, uh, there will be video on it, okay? Again, second step, uh, since I'm at it, so so you're gonna pull out, starting here, okay. So you pull out, and then you're gonna come all the way back, straight back, straight back, which is uh, you're very well familiar with. So straight back, once you pass your tractor, pass the last cone, and then you stop, okay. You allow one pull up for straight back. Here you allow no pull up. I mean, no backup. You cannot go back or um, or get out and look, nothing. Here, straight back, you allow one get out and look and one uh, one pull up, okay, on the first, on the, on the straight back, all right? Um, since I'm at it, let's, go, let's skip a little bit more. So you're going to, we're gonna talk about also regarding to this portion, this, uh, uh, the uh, to going forward offset backing so we have discussed about that but I'm because uh, it makes more clearer when it's here so as you notice there's a dot here you see that little dot here yeah so it's hard to notice right that's where the line is from here this cone to here that's four feet four feet apart okay so your tire your rear third axle has to get a touch this uh, has to be within this four feet. If it's not, it's five points deduction. Okay. So in other words, when you pull out, you got to learn how to make sure our tire is within this five feet. Okay. Once you come in, you pull up straight, then you stop. Okay. Um, so we'll practice that when we get in the yard, all right? Uh, we'll pull up, and it's not hard because our, tr uh, our truck is uh, a lot shorter, so we're able to maneuver in here in no time, so we should be fine. Now, that's number three. So number four, okay, watch here. Now reverse offset backing. So what, what are we doing? Again, same thing again. This time, we don't need to worry about this line here. And we just need to go straight back, coming back here, and then back here. Now, when you come back here, your DOT bumper has to be inside here, the three feet. Okay, that's your final position has to be inside here. If it's not, uh, if you pass over, that's 13 point deduction, so you already failed. So you must be inside this um, this setting. Okay, so you gotta be within this setting. Then you sound the horn, okay? And again, every section when it's done, once you finish pulling, you have to sound the horn to tell, to represent that you're completed, okay? Same thing with here, straight all the way back. You allow one, get out and look, and just um, sound the horn, and that means you're done, okay? Same thing with here. Once it's pulled up, stop, sound the horn, and you're done, okay? Something here. Now you come all the way back, all the way back in there. Sound the horn. No, make sure it's in there. 
then you are you get you you are allowed to have two free pull ups, and two get out and look. Okay, two free pull up after the second one, then the third one, counted、uh, deduction points, and counted one. Now, if you touch the line, any of the encroachment, that's two points deduction. Okay, any of the, the lines that you touch or cones that you touch, two points deduction. You're not allowed. Once you come back in here, you can pull forward, but you cannot pass the line here. Okay, you make sure that's the wall, right? So you're able to come in here, and again, make sure your setting is between、uh, between these three feet. Very, very important. Okay, so depending on the examiner in the back here, because、uh, that's where the gray area is. So depending on the examiner, if they want to pass you or not, or how、uh, what they interpret it as. So. When you're in here, you gotta make sure that the、uh, DOT bumper, the whole bumper itself, possibly you need to make sure it's in here. And of course, you gotta be nice and straight, right? When you're straight, then your is your trailer is not crooked. Yeah. Okay. So once、uh, make sure it's in there, then you get back in the truck, sound your horn, then you're completed. All right. So pretty much that's、uh, that I'm going to talk about today,、uh, or that you're gonna see in the yard. So I kind of give you an overview, a heads up in terms of what they're doing here.、Um, they didn't go over in terms of the pre-trip,、uh, pre-trip materials.、Uh, nothing is dis discussed about that. Okay, but、uh, mainly it's all about um, how to um, how to um, the maneuver the skill portion. They didn't talk about the the,、um, the pre-trip.、Uh, pretty much, it's all by、um, all the information that is on there already. Okay. Encroachment still two points. So the lines are three points
Straight back needs to be right inside the box. Every big box. If it's not inside the box, it's five points deduction. We have those three cones in front. As long you are Righty, on, on the left hand side, this cone. Yeah, you're that's good. okay. Right. You're good. So, hopefully, straighten out by the time you're done. So, so that's when I could line out right in the middle. Yes. Cone, and that's it's okay. Right. Your boundary from those cones on the left and those three front cones on the right. That's your area of play with. Well, okay. so however, you, you uh, teach your student, that's for you to decide. If your trailer is outside here, we see inside. The, we're looking for this, the tire. The tire. You have a long overhang, you know. We're not looking for that. We're looking for that. Either time, you'll be okay. Yeah. 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 Hopefully, by the time you're done with this time, we'll get you straight now. Right, so we can be anywhere. You're allowed up to those three cones. You don't have to go all the way up. You don't have to, but we should go all the way up. Okay, Scott. That's why I would have gone all the way Yeah, because the main objective we're trying to look for is that the rear right tire for this time. If you're outside here, you're going to lose five points. None of the duels. How many points you lose? Whether you have a single tie or a duel. How many points you lose? Let's go, question. So that's been when you back out, you got to be the, the real actual tie, one of them got to be between the four feet, right? Inside. What about outside? Is that okay? That's no. a five point. That's a five point. Yeah. So got to be yeah. inside. One of the uh, rear tires. Rear tire. One of the rear tire, tire needs to be now. inside this oh, four feet. No. You way outside here. That's a five. Is that going to apply when you're coming back? 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. save that for the back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. I want to okay. concentrate one thing. Coach, coach, that's two points. That's okay. But not if you run over this. The black bay is okay. The yeah. black part doesn't count. Yep. The black part doesn't count. Yes, that's stay Scott. So, super single runs over the line, half in, half out. Five points? I'd be okay with that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's oh. say the width of the tire is that much. Both feet together. Right, right, right. Yeah, and that's why it's within reasonable okay. judgment well, tire, call. Right? Tire inside when it's so. obvious that he's right? way out here like that, that's a five point. That's a five, five point, point deduction yeah. if yep. the tire's up. Common, common sense, good judgment. But you see something like that. Tires is here. Come again? Your tire needs to be inside here. Yeah, we're, we're all very objective. Tire can be in the line. Is this a boundary line from this cone to that cone? Does it have to be within this line or is this just open space? No, three cones up front. Don't go beyond that. What about the left? Just a straight line here. Prefer that you line up on this side and not on the side. He is past that cone. Does that have to be an approach cone or is that just out of bounds? Okay, perfect. It's just a boundary. Boundary line is almost like the blue line. Scotty, it's going to be a line right there. Yeah, it's going to be a line. Not going to be a line. Okay. I guess, yeah. Be right. How about back in? Is this a main part of tire gonna be inside the move on as you are? What about the shoe? What about two tire? One of them is outside. That's okay, right? That's okay. Whether you have a dually or you have a single tire, that's long. So, Amy, as long as one is inside, you'd be okay. If you hit the cone all the way out, that'd be good. Coachman. No, just any time. Yeah, same, same like. No, the black part. Black part. Scott, how many, how many footing do we have from the coach of the night? Five? Four? Yeah. Yeah. This one's a two foot mark. And you have, if you, you sign in already, Tony, sign in, and there's a little pamphlet that gives you all the, 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 uh, the right? Okay. Okay, thank you. We're moving. From that pole, this line. Okay. So you can't touch that. You don't want to be outside. Okay. Oh, the tire oh, okay. didn't come inside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's almost like a measure right turn when we used to do over 20 years ago. So okay. Yeah, it's the front wheel. We're moving the Yeah, it's the front wheel. Directly in front, don't go. 
Is it between the two lines? Is that a, is that a pass? Yeah. Yeah. Is it, is yeah. it between yeah. the two lines? No, I think it is. It's, it's on the line. line. It's on the line. No, it's this right here. Okay, everybody back up, back up, out of the way. Hold on. Right. Okay. So, you know, it's between the two lines. Look, right here. So that's in. in Anywhere in between. Okay, okay. So it's in. Whatever surface of the rear of the vehicle in. is inside the box, correct? Right? I think it's in. What do you guys in. think? It was in. <laughs> you passed. Well, <laughs> you're not supposed to tell him. Now he passed. <laughs> Question on that. He hasn't honked the horn. Obviously, guys, we can't tell him if it's in or out. It is up to him. He has to blow the horn. Let us know he's done. I don't. I didn't hear a horn. Uh, <laughs> 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 this is the hook at this point. Bye. Bye. Listen, guys. Any different than my doggy on this? Yeah. Uh, I got you. I got you. I didn't hear a horn. No, that's yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. What are you gonna do? Hey, everybody, out of the way, guys. Out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way! Reverse upside back. You demonstrate your ability upside back and park your vehicle end of the alley. Start in parallel with the outer boundary, which is up there, right? Upside back into the alley, bringing the rearmost part of your vehicle within three feet of the rear of the alley. Okay? Stop with the rearmost part of your vehicle in the box. Point it out where it's going to be. Your vehicle must be within all boundary lines when completed. You may not go beyond the outer boundary line. Okay? Point the boundary line over there. You allow two free pull ups and you may exit the vehicle a maximum of two times to check around the vehicle during this exercise. Set your parking brake, shift to a neutral, and sound your horn when you have completed. Cool. Good question. Similar like what we did with the alley dock. When you finish with this test, it's going to be the last part now. Okay, so let me walk you through this. Okay, Scotty. Good job, bro. Uh, really appreciate it. You did pass. Good job. <laughs> you can keep your license, though. So, um... Uh, I, 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 yeah, he, he allowed to park, so he's not right. No? Correct. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Uh, that was one of the things that I want to go ahead and, and share. When you send your students in here, we do recommend that you give them a checklist that they can bring and let them know that they are able to check off that checklist. However, any other writing is not allowed. So, so any other, so, so. yeah, it should come blank. Give them a blank one. Um, and we'll go ahead and for our independence, we'll be giving them theirs if they didn't print it. But since you guys are prepping them, just either give it to your instructor so they can give it to the person when they check in with them, or make sure that the student has one. And make sure that they know that it's supposed to be completely blank other than what is already on there. Okay. And then they're allowed so, to check. It can be another checklist, huh? No, it cannot be another checklist. It has to be the one that was specified. Okay. That's the only allowed one. And there's individual checklists for an A and a B in your supplement book. Okay. Starting the actual inspection part of the test, there's no specific order, correct? There's no specific order. Is there a preferred order that the examiners are going to wait for? Us? Um, Meaning, are they going to start with the outside lights and then jump inside? Where, where people are, they feel the air brakes, so sometimes you'll want to do the inspector, but you can do the air brakes. Thank you so much. We will be doing another demo. 扫一扫我的个人联络二维码。